Yes, this is something I'm really excited that we're, we're going to implement is this back to basics, especially since we've got so many new uh, people and, and new uh, uncredentials that are working on being code, uh, coders or think they might be interested in coding and are coming to the webinars. So one of the questions we get a lot is, how do I know the difference between a benign and a malignant lesion? What's kind of interesting about this, well, for me, is I really like the diagnosis coding, but there's so many fascinating things around um, uh, lesions. And, and, and um, one of the things that is the when you're going to code a lesion that they want to know is, is it malignant? Is it benign? Is it, you know, uh, cancer in situ, which we've described in previous uh, lectures. Now, chapter two is all about uh, neoplasms in your ICD-9 manual. And here's some pictures of different types of, of Looks lesions. Looks like a quilt. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I could have made it a little bit bigger, but, you know, I didn't want to – some people, people are – super sensitive but really this is exactly what they do to you know if you have a spot and it looks like any one of these and those are numbered and you can you know then yes you probably need to go have it checked out so let's talk about what benign is as Lorraine raises it up just a tad there you go and a benign neoplasm is one that's not growing excessively and it's not really uh, taking over the surrounding area. It's not as destructive, um, but because it's there, it's not normal. So it is causing problems and they usually want to have it removed. And um, so they say like a benign neoplasm of the breast is most often the first detected as a small lump b below the surface of the skin. And you're going to want to code to like uh, the fourth digit for a benign tumor of the breast regardless of the location or patient or gender of the patient, okay? And that's just an example uh, since so many of us are familiar with um, breast cancer. And often they'll go in, they'll feel something and get it checked and um, or, or may see a spot and, uh, and it could be benign. So now let's talk about what malignant is. Malignant is um, a term that is used in the medical field to describe several different things, not just cancer. But what it what is the heads up about malignant is that it's always progressive, it's always taking over something, and um, it's usually always invasive. So one of the ways they use the term malignant is about hypertension. So uh, tending to uh, be severe and becoming progressively worse is a malignant hypertension. That's another thing that you'll hear about that. Uh, but in regard to the tumor, uh, it's going to be, like I said, invasive. It's going to destroy the nearby tissue you know, unlike the benign, and it's going to spread, and that term is called metastasize, uh, to other parts of the body. Benign doesn't really do that, okay? So that is uh, uh, why malignant is such a bad thing when you're talking about uh, spots and cancers and tumors. Now, I, I thought this was interesting when I found it in the description about the Latin combination of mal- or mal, if you know mm -hmm. Spanish, it's that's Malo. derived from uh, the Latin meaning bad. And NASCOR, which I pronounce it NASCOR, maybe something else, is to be born. Malignant literally means born to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess you know they've got those songs out there, born to be uh -huh. wild. <laughs> now, again, when a person says, well, how do I know uh, the difference? Now, when you're coding, the thing of it is, is you don't have to necessarily, you don't really need to know the difference because the path report that is going to be given to you when you're coding is going to tell you whether it's benign or malignant. 
okay? And the doctor is going to say, you know, he will either say this is a benign lesion or a benign tumor. This is a benign mass or a malignant mass. And um, uh, But if he says he doesn't know or he's waiting for it to be sent off and you see the path report come in and it states it's a, a benign mass, you know, located in the breast, then that's that's what you're going to code. So that takes a little bit of the pressure off, but again, in the basics, you need to know the difference between uh, benign and malignant when it comes to uh, lesions. Get more CPC exam tips, coding certification training, and CEU credits. Go to www.codingcertification.org.